Hi children, welcome to Educa. Today we are with a new video from Grade 8 Science. This is 11th lesson, Main Biological Processes in Plants. Already we have discussed previous parts regarding to this lesson. Now we are discussing about transpiration. Here you have to do activity to identify the transpiration. You will need a potted plant, transparent polythene bag, rubber bands. Here, first of all, you have to cover a branch of the plant using a polythene bag. Then you have to observe after one hour. Here you can see there are droplets inside of the polythene bag. In this activity, there is a new word called anhydrous copper sulfate. Anhydrous copper sulfate can be made by using copper sulfate. When we heat copper sulfate, blue color crystal, it is turned into white color powder. We call that anhydrous, anhydrous copper sulfate. By adding water to add the anhydrous copper sulfate, it turning into copper sulfate again and the, into the blue color crystal. So, we can add some of anhydrous copper sulfate crystal into that bag. Here you can see that crystal turn from white to blue. So, in this practical we can conclude that the droplets were water droplets. These water droplets mainly come out from the leaves. Let's see what is transpiration. The process of evaporation of water through the aerial parts of the plant is termed as transpiration. This happens mainly through the stomata in leaves. We have to engage another activity to show that plant absorb water to fill the gap of water due to the transpiration. Here you will need a leafy shoot. Here you should cut this under water, coconut oil, rubber cork, paraffin or grease, YouTube and water. Let's see what you have to do. Fill the YouTube with water. Cut a leafy shoot under the water and fix it to the rubber cork. And fix the cork to the one arm of the YouTube. Seal it using grease and put some coconut oil to the other end of the YouTube. And mark the level of water. After an hour, observe the water level in the arm with coconut oil. Here you will observe that water level in the free arm of YouTube decreases. The shoot loses water through the transpiration. Therefore, it absorbs the same amount of water from the YouTube. The speed of transportation within the plant increases due to transpiration. In addition to this, there are some other functions of transpiration. Let's see the functions of transpiration. First one, the transpiration pool is responsible for the continuous ascent of water and nutrients from the roots to the top of most part of the plant. Second one, as the water is evaporated, transpiration helps the plant in cooling. Third one, maintains the water cycle by evaporating water. Let's see, the transpiration pool is responsible for the continuous ascent of water and nutrients from the root to the topmost part of the plant. As the water is evaporated, transpiration helps the plant in cooling. It maintains the water cycle by evaporating water. 
Therefore, transpiration is process favorable not only for the plants but also for the environment. So, heat, strong wind, strong light increase the rate of transpiration. Transpiration during dry conditions may affect the plant to dry. These are many adaptations of there are many adaptations of plants that leave such weather conditions to conserve water. Let's see what are those adaptations are. First one, thick epidemies in aerial parts. We can see this in temple trees. Leaves reduce to spins. Example, cactus. Leaves turn to scale leaves in kasa. Reducing the size of leaves, Navahandi. Hairs on the epidemies, sunflower and pumpkin. Songs tomato, example, oriander. Leaves fall during the dry season, rubber or teak. Fleshy leaves in aloe vera. Rolled leaves during dry seasons, examples are Maharavana Ravla or Bim Thamburu. Let's meet with the next part of the lesson, Gatishan. Thank you.